It's playoff time, ladies and gentlemen. We're running against the 76ers, and I figured out exactly how I want to do the playoffs, at least for the first round. We'll see how that goes. Um, and, and one thing that we learned from using, uh, was this Shady Mike um, sliders, is that you have to play with real th free throw percentage or real player percentage. So things probably look differently today than they did last episode. We was green bean and everything. Um, but we're going against the Philadelphia 76ers, as you know. I mean, they're they're really good, and they added Miles Bridges. Now, it's crazy that we were six episodes in, and two of these episodes are going to be dealing with the 76ers. We didn't know that we was going to run into them in the playoffs. But every single game, I get the option to play two different quarters because I feel like if I played every game, we'd go to the championship and we'd win. Uh, because even with the change of sliders, the comp is not very comp in a game of 2K. So um, in the first game, I'm electing to play the first quarter in the fourth quarter, and we'll see how that goes. Joel Embiid. Versus Nicholas Claxton, y'all. Funny enough, and the last time these two teams met in the playoffs, I was there for game one. Set course side in this arena. Um, what happened in the game, though? It was Jared Dudley versus Ben Simmons. And the Brooklyn Nets, who were the underdog, went into Philly and won game one. That's D'Angelo Russell versus, you know, all of these other dudes. And here we are in the playoffs hoping to reenact that. They won 50 games in the year. We won 46. Obviously, they're a better team than us. They didn't finish strong. We did, you know? So that's how we ended up being the five seed, them being the four seed. They dropped because the Cavaliers, at least in the game of 2K, are elite. And remember, I only play two quarters. So whatever happens in between those two quarters, I can't really control. We're just going to simcast them and get through them. Here we go. Jump ball, and it's won by the 76ers. Let's get it. I haven't played real player percentage on this game yet. So I'm not completely sure what to expect um, other than James Harden driving past my point guard, Spencer Dinwiddie. Let's not, let's not let James do that now. He, oh, he, he getting, getting up and dunking like that. It's cool. We'll get it right back. Tyrese Maxey can't guard Mikael Bridges. Tyrese Maxey can't guard Mikael Bridges. He's little. He's small. Take advantage of that mismatch while we can. James Harden hit a 100% smothered, by the way. 100% smart. Now, it's James Harden. I can't be too mad because he can, I mean, he can finish this in real life. That ain't simple. That ain't, you know, as hard as it looks, but 100% smothered is insane. Kale, come set the screen. We love this play. We love this play. Give it back to Mikhail. Real player percentage doesn't matter. Bang! Mikhail Bridges, five quick points. Last game we played, he didn't score into the second half, and here he is showcasing that he can be that man. He's basically our number one scoring option in the playoffs, baby. We need him to have a have a good series. I mean, Toby's probably going to abuse, abuse Joe Harris. He calls the miss, 100% smother. We run a team. Set the screen, Clax. Roll. Oh, that's a terrible animation to get. I thought there was a world. We got that through. Here's Miles Bridges. He's strong. He's he's strong. Okay. I'm, ki I'm kind of liking there. The, the, op the uh, AI. The AI is a lot smarter right now. They've taken some tough shots. They've made some tough shots, but that was one of the opportunities where they just used their size. Mikael Bridges on the screen. No good. That's okay. If it was a real player percentage, we make that. I'm just saying. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We, we're completely okay. We got a good look from our best player, who's already, again, has, has a lot of points. A lot of points. He has five. What am I talking about? Now, I'm a little bit afraid that my stats are not going to save. We, we'll see exactly how it works with the simulated stats. Um, down to Nicholas Claxton. Here's the curl for Spencer Dinwiddie. We throw those. We make those. Nicholas Clack's an underrated playmaker out of the post. That play can get ran a lot. Until they showcase that they can stop it, we can do these little back cuts and lead to layups all day because they ain't got it. Maxi over the screen, and that's a foul on Miles Mikael Bridges. Miles is on the other team. Now, since I'm playing only two quarters, I got to make sure that I capitalize on them. I cannot lose a quarter, basically, because I can't control what happens in the other quarters. Mikael Bridges... Jump shot. The midi is not falling. Two misses in the row for him in the mid-range area. This is the first time Joel B touched the ball, by the way. Um, and those are buckets. Those are buckets if we play it with the, with the meter. But I like it. I like it, though, because it just makes it harder. We got to get better looks. Maybe they're telling Dang, green release. Maybe they're telling us that Mikael Bridges in the mid-range area ain't him. It's an 88. So, it, I mean, <laughs> it don't get a lot better than that. But I understand. I understand. You can't make them all. Here's that back screen. He's open this time. Back to, back to Spence. Spence for three. Knock it down, Spence. Bang. Big play. Spence with the, with the cut pass and then boom, right back to him. Five points for Spencer Dinwiddie. Two assists. Playing good basketball, baby. Dang, James. Big game, James. I'm liking that the shots are coming from James Harden and stuff. I don't like that 
that pass that I just threw. But Joel Embiid has not attempted a shot yet, which is not ideal. Um, and the same thing happened the first time we played against him. Mikael Bridges, I mean, not Mikael Bridges, she's. Um, Joel Embiid was kind of a non-factor until he hit the game winning shot. And let's let's hope he does it a game winning shot this time around. But you get what I'm saying. It, it hasn't been uh, amazing in the couple games we played against Joel. We're not getting the real impact that we get from Joel in real life. All right, reset, reset. I feel like Joe Harris should be open soon. I don't, oh, oh, I don't know if he ran this play. I don't know if we ran this play. I don't know if we ran that one with the double screen coming from the corner to get to the baseline to get to the basket. That's kind of clean, y'all. That man Jacques Vaughn is bringing out stuff that we ain't even seen before. Okay, over that. Yep, no more open James Harden three. Wow, it opened up. Uh, hey, that's great offense. It's great offense. Because because James Harden has been killing us from three. We, we jump in on that. And it leaves Joel and B. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize the timeline or the storyline of Ben Simmons playing a playoff series in Philadelphia. Oh man, I didn't even think about that until now because I'd be forgetting Ben is on the team sometime. Good defense there. And there's Spencer, or there's uh, Dorian Finney Smith with the rebound. Run with me, Ben. Run with me. Spin move, Ben Simmons to the basket. Try to set a charge, uh, uh, Montrez. What you doing? One point game. We're also getting a lot more offense now. Um, with the real player percentage. Again, a couple episodes ago, we scored 13 points in a quarter. 13 points in a quarter. We got 17 points right now, so it's, it's slightly better. I know, they got both of these bigs in, and I know you want an entry pass. We're not allowing that. We can step up on that clax, but we back. Look at that. That's great defense. Oh, I accidentally flicked the, the analog, and it led to a foul. We fine. That's fine. You don't have to help off Joel too much because I feel confident in Ben Simmons' ability to get this stop. Uh, maybe I was a little overly confident. I think he, we made him jungle the ball, but that second catch was enough for him to get an open one. That's fine. They saying clear out for Ben. Iso with Montrez Harrell. Iso Montrez Harrell. Going against Joel Embiid. Draws the foul. I do not know what happens to Ben Simmons this offseason. I just don't know yet. I, I know we shouldn't be thinking about it because we're in the playoff series and we need to be thinking about winning the game in the series. But I'm just so, I just don't know what happens to Ben. You know, I don't know if we start to think about moving him or we try to replenish his career. Or what? But he averaged eight points per game this season. And obviously, eight points, that's not a good shot. Yes, it is! Cam Bottoms! Um, eight points per game is obviously not what we want from him. And he's making 40 plus million dollars a year. I just, I, I gotta figure out if there's a team that will be willing. I got a team in mind, but that's that's for a future episode. That's not for us to talk about right now. That's the first rebound for Claxton. 40 seconds left in the quarter. First rebound. We need to go in with the lead. We need to go into the second quarter with the lead again with us not having the ability to play this. Oh, second and third quarter. Ben Simmons, the burst of speed. Get past Montrez Harrell. And I think Ben has a quick six. Five. He got a quick five. He missed a free throw. Um, ben Simmons, man. Again, we when we actually out here on the court, sheesh, that's too easy. He's amazing. He's great. But we need him to be great at simulation too because we simulate way more games than we play. So, I, I need him to figure that out. Here, Cam. Get out the way. All right, Cam wants the, the last possession. I like it. I like it. Going against Anthony Bellin, who is one of the better perimeter defenders. Draws a lot of turnovers. Let's see, Cam. What we got? Five seconds to go. Step back. Try to make some moves. Double step back. Cam. Mitty. Not, not the end, but we win the quarter 23-21. to 21. Uh, I would say pretty successful. I think the sliders play well on both ends, us offensively, them offensively as well. And now we get to our sim cast. And this is what things get a little bit scary because we can't control nothing really. And obviously there's going to be situations where we sim cast and the game is out of play. So we don't jump into that second quarter or that second half or fourth quarter, whatever it may be. Um, but the second quarter is a lot of Brooklyn. What they say, Brooklyn, we go hard, baby. That song is so old. My fault. My fault. I don't even know if they still say that type of stuff. That's so old. But the second quarter is won by Brooklyn. We put up 37 points in that quarter, um, which is insane. Third quarter is underway. And it looks like we're going to be able to close this one out. I'm not going to blow a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter. I'll, I'll continue to simcast. If it gets close, then we'll play the rest. 10-point game, man. All right. Uh, Nine-point game. Now we can jump. Ah, oh, I feel good. Look at that. 10-point game, boys. 10-point game is staying pretty true. Are we going to steal game one in Philly? History repeats itself, man. I thought we was going to jump in. It don't like we need to. The guys have figured it out. And uh, we were playing eight-minute quarters in simulation. They put up 138, by the way. Uh, I mean, 100 and almost 50. Now, we almost gave them 140 back. James had 38 of 15. Joel had 32. 
Uh, Mayu's had 21, but on our end, Mikel Bridges, you know, we have four players drop 20 plus. The Cams did it. And then Spencer Dinwiddie did it. We take game one, y'all. We take game one. Let's go, man. They not ready. They didn't think that we was real, and we are. And the simulated stats, the simulated stats, the simulated stats, bro. What the heck? Oh, boy. Yeah. James Harden just setting records for most assists in a playoff game. Oh, man. Okay, so what we have to do then is if we're going to do this new method, we have to turn off normalized sim stats. Uh, because that's that's ridiculous, man. I hate that that just happened because that just that blows everything. We just we just had a game where teams put up 200 points. Even that felt, even though we got the random stats and stuff, even that felt a little bit too easy. So I'm gonna opt to play every other game. So that'll give us game one, game three, game five, and game seven. Because obviously we want to play game seven if we get there. Again, even if we are playing two quarters, I still feel confident that we're going to win every game. So if we do this and we mismatch it, um, well, we don't we don't play the second, fourth, and sixth game, then I think we can have better series. And as you can see, yeah, this game is a lot of Philadelphia 76ers. And because of that, I think they were not going to win. And they still put up 140 points, which is fine. This team is too good. They should be the favorite. They're the fourth seed with a five seed. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with losing game two uh, because I believe that we can win game three. So in game three, I'm going to do second quarter and fourth quarter. Since we didn't get to play fourth quarter and... Dang, that went so fast. Because we didn't get to play fourth quarter in, uh, in the first game, we're going to opt to do it this time around. Second quarter on the way. Uh, we are up by two points, which we love. Which we love. And we at home, baby. You love it. I love this court. I got to be honest with you. The lighting in this arena, I don't know if you can really tell when you're watching on TV, but when you're in there, the lighting is elite. Spencer Dinwiddie off the screen, mid-range jump shot if he missed. Yep, no, he didn't miss. He didn't miss. Thank you, Spence. 18 points per game in a regular season. He might be averaging 50 because of that game one, everybody had 50, but whatever. That's actually go. That's a tough shot. Man, we cannot get a board. That's their second offensive rebound in possession. Almost third. All right, we got it. Thank you. Come on, let's run, boys. It's not. We don't have numbers. But that never stopped Spencer Dinwiddie before. That never spot stopped Spencer Dinwiddie before. Get the bucket, Spence. Six-point game. Man. Hey. Hey, th hey, things are looking nice. Things are looking nice. Listen, I, got, I got to admit, things are looking real nice for the good guys right now. 1-1 uh, one, one series, obviously. I feel I feel good, man. I feel good. Steal. Oh, my God. My center. With the... With the oof, I don't like that. But he got the smaller defender. Toby is too small. Steal. Fast break to a post... Lay, to a post lay, baby. We might go to the finals, boy. We might go to the finals. This little, oh, what a great screen. Leading to a James Harden three, but he missed. This team is scrappy. They don't make mistakes. They got shooters. Watch the shooters. Watch the shooters. Okay, that wasn't. <laughs> I thought we had a shooting opportunity, but we didn't. Oh, the big man. He's too. Oh, my God. Nicholas Claxton. Offensive board. And then put back Duck. Don't jump, Miles. You will get dunked on. I'm just having a lot of fun. I'm just having a lot of fun, man. I love this team. I love this team. Um, I don't love that we keep giving James Harden open threes and Montrez is killing the offensive glass. It's cool. They won't They won't score out of it. They won't score out of it. Yes, they will. Ha, ha, ha. Three-point three shot, Tyrese Maxey. Um, I'm, I'm loving it, bro. I'm loving it. Real play percentage is, you know, it's something right now. I still don't know if I love it, but in the, in the terms of his sliders, he said you got to run it. I see you, Clax, on the roll. He, Montrez just can't hold, can't hold you, bro. You are you are dr dramatically better, significantly better than Montrez Harrell. And as long as you believe that in your mind, you're gonna play like that. That's what I see. That's what I see. I cannot believe the amount of open threes we're giving up to James Harden. Luckily, he is just having a terrible shooting night, but he continues to get open looks. Speaking of open looks, Mikael, get into the basket. Don't jump, Montrez. Hey, Montrez is having a tough time out there. That, what? Hey, Vince Carter sitting courtside. I, I take it, I guess. Um, tough time for Montrez Harrell so far. And me at the free throw line, apparently. Uh, he's getting killed by Claxton. And he's not providing any form of rim protection. We keep going at him and at him and at him. And he cannot survive. They need Joel Embiid to play 40 plus minutes in this one. They need him. Because no, because that boy Montrez, the backup, ain't holding it down. But can he make up for it on the offensive side? Is he wearing Jordan 1s? I think he's hooping in Jordan 1s. Which is very... Um, which is very Montrez Harrell like because he just hoops in whatever. You know, sometimes he's in a Reebok, sometimes he's in a slipper. You know, ah, that's a terrible pass. You never really know with Montrez Harrell what exactly what you're going to get. Isolation Spencer Dinwiddie is the call. 
I mean, I don't hate it. I, but I'm just not, I'm not good enough on the sticks. This is why you don't see me in the park as a dribble guy. Roll, Clax. Roll, Clax. Boo! Don't jump because Clax is going to catch it and catch a body. Boy, hey, it's a lot of players on this team I like for sure. Claxton is, is climbing up the ranks of my, play, my favorite players on this team right now. That's a good shot. It's not a, it's not a good release or something. I don't know why he missed it, but we'll take it. We'll take another pick and roll because if Montrez Harrell is the center, then <laughs> if Montrez Harrell is the center, oh man, hey, it don't, oh, I'm wrong. It don't get a better look than that. That's one of the greatest three point shoots of all time. Wide open look, and he missed it. That's fine. I ain't mad at him. But I'm just saying, it don't get better than that. Montreal, sit your butt on the bench, man. You didn't hurt your team too much. I got a transition foul being stupid. Oh, bro, I, listen. Hey, hey, I don't know what's going on with James today. He's one for five. He got seven assists, so that's cool. Missing free throws, technical free throws and stuff. He's just not, he's not all that mentally right now. Maybe because he's back in Brooklyn and the fans are booing him or something. I don't know what, what the problem is. Oh, my God, what a pass. But guess who's there? It's Nicholas Claxton for the defense. That's why he was the DPOY. This is a very interesting lineup. Throw it. Throw it. Boom! Claxton with another. With another. Look at the screen by Ben Simmons to, to open it up. I was waiting for that play. That's the first time y'all seeing that one, ain't it? That's the first time y'all seeing that one, ain't it? Man, what a pass from Patty Mills. Got to give him his love. Got to give him his respect. That was on the money. Pinpoint accuracy from a dude that's not known to be a great pass. That's a great shot. That's a bucket. And for a guy that's not known to be a great playmaker, Patty Mills looking great on that one. Cook him. Cook him, Cam. Cook him, Cam. Cook him, Cam. Give me a foul, ref. Oh, Claxton. Oh, he's got his badge on. You know what we doing there. I was thinking about kicking it out to DFS, and then I saw he had takeover. And if he got takeover, I'm, man, hey. I don't know what Claxton progression be like in this game. He he playing like he should be hitting 90 overall, bro. He playing like the best center in hoops, gang. Like, what's going on? He's out dueling Joel and B offensively and defensively. Joel don't even touch the ball on this team. Look. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need to touch the ball if you're getting straight to the basket with the guard. But Joel and B just exist right now. The second quarter has been all Brooklyn except for that shot right there. I knew it. <laughs> I, I fell way too deep into the defense. That's James Harden still. Even if he is struggling tonight specifically, he's still James. Big three from Shake, and just like that, it's a seven-point game. We nailed about a 10 this whole quarter. Um, we want to go in with an even bigger league because we don't play the third at all. Another steal, George Yang, I swear to you. Give me that! Give me that! I saw it! I saw what happened! Ben Simmons chased down Artis Bronze. He don't play that, man! And George Nye was talking trash in the media this week. We ain't forgot. We saw the messages. We saw it. Give me that. That's a huge block because he makes that. It's a five-point game just like that. And then all 76ers, they go on a nice little mini run. And, and, you know, the game of basketball is that simple. A little run can bring any game back into play. Um, so that's a big block, but that led to a three. Whoa. It's a four-point game. We did all of that talking and great ball just for it to be a four-point game going into half potentially. Dang, the game of basketball is crazy, just like that. Patty Mills. I mean, Patty Mills, if we could get the screen. Patty Mills is a shooter. Never mind. He didn't get open. Cam. Downhill Cam. Get the foul. No foul, ref? All of that just to be up by four. We was up by ten a minute and a half ago. That's that's a tough shot making. Tough shot making from them. Shout out to them. This is anybody's game still. It felt like it was all Brooklyn all the time, but this is anybody's game. Right, let's see what the Simcast looked like. They have the lead. Oh, okay. Uh, like we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like we're going to have a game. We're going to hop into that fourth quarter. It's going to be a one-possession, two-possession game or something. Um, and hopefully, we close it out. All right. This is basketball, baby. Fourth quarter, up by three. Fourth quarter, up by three. We'll take that. 85 to 82. Claxon is 8 for 8 from the field looking great. This is this is a big game. Game three. Whoever wins this obviously goes up in the series and only needs to win a couple more. So this is a huge, huge game. First game at home. If we lose this, we lose home court advantage throughout the series. So we wanna we wanna close this one out. Um he's gotta play great defense and prevent Oh my god, he's got such good inside position. Claxton, not there, but Joel showcasing why he's great, but blocked by Claxton. Showcasing why he's DPOY. Right, did he actually win it on my tweaking? I feel like I recorded the episode two weeks ago. No, he made all defensive team. He wasn't DPOY. He, eventually, in the future, in the future, Clax, next season, you got it. Um, but he made all defensive team, which is still great for a center. He's first team. 
The league determined he was the best defensive center in basketball this year. You saw it on that play specifically. And that play too. Oh my God, we run it, Clax. Good defense, boy. Cam, spot up, catch, shoot, bang, bottoms. Just like that. From Nicholas Claxton, he is the greatest to ever put on the uniform. And No, let me, I'm going a bit far, but you get me. I see a mismatch right there, but I can't throw it. I can throw this, though. Oh, my God, the play is running to perfection. It's running to perfection, man. Nicholas Claxton never missed a shot of this. This is his opportunities all the time. Great back screens from Dorfin Smith, Ben Simmons, and now Cam Johnson. Just setting great screens for Claxton to get that. And they still ain't made no adjustments to stop it. I know he's taking that shot. I saw it. Um, from miles away and we got the contest and we run. Oh my god, jump the pass the lane. Spencer Dinwiddie take off on him. Spencer Dinwiddie, huge, huge play right there. And Vince Carter been sitting court side. You gotta love it. Showing love to Brooklyn. I didn't realize that was a bang in 2K where they just find a random legend from this team's history and make him sit court side. I was playing a game and Dwayne Wade was sitting court side of the heat game. It was like, yeah, for sure, that could happen. But it's just funny that this happened in the game like that. Philly has an opportunity to go on a little run, eight-point game. We've missed, I think, our last three shots or so. So uh, we ain't looking too hot in the last couple minutes, so we need to stop desperately. They give it up to Tyrese Maxey, who's fast as heck, but Mikael Bridges is there. James Harden with it again. The screen comes from Bridges and a three-point shot, James Harden. It is a five-point game. Big game James is carrying right now because we ain't seen a lot of Joel and B so far. Big game. Oh, that's around the corner. Never mind. One more to Mikhail. Mikhail for three. In there. Would it be a real three-point percentage? I feel way more confident taking, like, what would be considered lightly contested three-point shots because they can hit him now. M sets a nice screen. He flares open too much. He opens way too much. Maxi with the steal. We need to stop. Stop him. That's a bucket. He's too little. Three-point game. Tyrese Maxi five straight points for the good for them. I almost caught them the good guys for them. And, yeah, it's a three-point game with three minutes to go. Let's not choke away this game, bro. Let's not choke away this game. Give it to our best player, yup, and let him make some reads, like hitting Spencer Dinwiddie on that screen. And then the cut, and there's a turnover. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's get this stop, y'all. Let's get this stop. Playoff basketball. Tyrese Maxey again. I don't know if Cam can play right now. I don't know if Cam can play right now. This, if he hits these free throws, these will be seven straight points. The Tyrese Maxey, oh, he missed the free throw. The Tyrese Maxey has scored, which is too many. It's too many, Cam. We need you to lock in and lock up. Mikael Bridges is definitely going to get back in this game in a second, but boy, two-point game, one possession. All right, we're running the same play that we turned the ball over last time. I just need him not to open up too much, and this time I didn't even feel confident throwing the pass. All right, Cam, we need something. Cam, Cam, pick and roll. Actually, it's a flare. He's open. We need the shot. Cam for three. No good. Get, get Mikhail back in the game. Get Mikhail back in the game. Where is he at? I need to take Cam out. Joe Harris probably needs to come out too for Doran Finney-Smith. We, we need the defense. We need the defense more than anything. Um, so, yeah. Oh, boy. This is, this is good basketball. This is playoff. Ba <gasps> no, he's not that far ahead of the pack. Oh my god, I didn't notice. Okay, all right, all right. Um, we only have one timeout, so we can't burn it on this. We need to keep that timeout. So we're just going to continue to have the same. This is the same play ran three times in a row, Jacques Vaughn. I don't know what we see in here. Spencer did what he. No way! Another turnover. We're falling apart. James Harden throws a lot. No, they playing too much now. They playing too much now. We need a dead ball. I might intentionally, we, I'm going to intentionally foul next possession. Would that put them in a bonus? I'm a little bit afraid. I don't know. We are falling apart, ladies and gentlemen. We are falling apart. We are up by as much as, I think, 12 points this game. Good screen. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Cam, good screen. Spencer Dinwiddie. Knock it down, Spence. Get us that lead back. No good. And they have team takeover with a minute to go. I'm going to foul. No bonus. Okay. I just I need Mikael Bridges and Doran Finney Smith in the game. I need the defense. I need the defense. The offense will come. The offense will come. Cam defense kinda so you know, I'm not saying he's the reason because we went cold as a team, but we, we allowed Tyrese Maxey to turn up in the last couple minutes and now they're gonna start playing through Joel because he's got post take. And that's a terrible shot, Jojo. That's a terrible shot. Okay. 
He's let. He's allowing us to make this run. I just don't. I don't. I feel like he's too small. I feel like he's too small. Put him in a pick and roll. Put him in a pick and roll. Put your butt on him, Mikael, and get you a bucket. Get you a bucket. He's too little. That's who we need to go to. He is too little. We need these stops. We need to stop James. Good pass. Okay. This is this is all defensive team versus all NBA block from our guy Clax. This man is incredible. Okay. All right. Come on, call the play, Jacques. I need a play ran. I need a play ran. You don't expect me to do this myself, do you, Jacques? You expect me to do this myself? Okay, there we go. That's a little play. Come up. Dorfinny Smith with the catch. Three seconds. Oh, my God. Dorfinny Smith gets to the basket. Throw it up. Oh, my God. That's not... How do we not run a, a genuine play right there? Now we, we need to stop, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Because this is probably the last possession, I put Ben Simmons in to play some defense over cam johnson we get this is our best defensive unit we could ask for they still have team take no they don't beautiful thank you we went exactly when we wanted it to <gasps> oh my god i thought he was moving early i had took my hand off the control because i was so used to them waiting to the last couple seconds to go five seconds Tyrese max maxi gives it down to joel and b three seconds two seconds good defense clacks yes yes we go to overtime joel and b almost gave us for the second time in this series Oh my god, that, that was intense. We play OT? I don't think we do. Do we play half of OT? I'm trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to stay consistent with, with the rules of this series. I think we play half of OT. Not the first half, obviously. Our four minutes in OT, okay. When it hits the two minutes, that's when we jump in. And, all right, we're down by one. No big deal. I'm just happy they didn't go on no big run. They have this. Why is this lineup playing basketball right now? What is happening? Why is Claxton not in the game? This is overtime in the playoffs. Put the best five out there, Mr. Vaughn. I don't even know. We need a dead ball. Look at the five we have out. And look at the five they have out. I mean, they don't have James Harden on the court, which is... Oh, Ben Simmons. Good steal. They don't have James Harden on the court, which is... Why is my, my icons won't pop? Okay. Um, that's not ideal. Like, I'm trying to give it up to Seth Curry. Seth Curry's wide open and my icons don't pop. Is that, like, stress? Like, watch this. Steph, Seth Curry is going to come up. He's wide open. That's the, one of the greatest shooters of all time. Wide. And we, I just, ah, oh, man. And they still won't pop up. I can't even switch players. Oh, my God. I'm getting bugged out right now. If we lose because of a bug, I'm going to be so mad. That's a terrible pass attempt. Seth Curry wide open. Big shot, Seth. Big shot, Seth. Two-point game, Brooklyn. I want to foul, but I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid to, to foul with a minute to go. Because I don't want to give them any free points. So, wow. Uh, DeAnthony is selling. DeAnthony is selling. Um, okay, we can drain a little bit of clock here. Up by two. A basket right here is huge. Seth Curry, again. Set your feet, Seth. Knock him down. Two in a row. It wasn't the best shot. I was feeling it. I took it. I'm not mad at myself for doing it. It just wasn't the smartest. You know what also wasn't smart? F f foul, foul and three-point shooter. And him hitting it. Oh, I, 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 am, I am, this is basketball. This is playoff basketball right here, y'all. Well, well at, least, at least we got the, the good team in, the good lineup in, and they just, still don't have James Harden on the court. Okay. Man, that's tough, bro. Just did what he on the screen. There it is, Mikael Bridges. I swear to you, Mikael, if you sell us. Thank you, Mikael. Thank you, Mikael. Big time shot from one. Now we need to stop. And this is where we put Ben Simmons back into the game. This is where we put Ben Simmons back into the game. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Spencer Dinwiddie. Spencer Dinwiddie comes out of the game for this. Right? Spencer Dinwiddie comes out. And we run Mikael at our one. Ben Simmons at the, like, whatever. And then... We need uh, Cam. Yeah. Yeah, Cam stays on the floor. 72 defense for Cam, though. Actually, Dinwiddie's defense is better than Cam. So we keep... Uh, oh, not Cam, this Cam. We keep Dinwiddie in the game. Mikhail is at the two. Dorfin and Smith at the three. This is, this is our defensive lineup to get this last stop. This is our defensive lineup to get this last stop. Now, we've been in a lot of situations so far. We've tried to guard the Philadelphia 76 down the stretch. And every single time, they're giving the ball to Joel Embiid. So we, we need to keep that in mind with 20 seconds to go. Keep that in mind. I would have loved to switch it to put to put Mikael Bridges on the point of attack, but whatever. Especially then when he's gonna try to do it. That is too easy. 
No, he didn't get his own board. Oh, he's selling. Get into a good free throw shooter. Oh, my God. Joel B just choked. Joel B just choked the game. Get the free throw shooters in, y'all. Get the free throw shooters in. It's time to go home. It's time to go home. Joe Harris's free throws of is of seventy five. I I didn't see that at all. Um, okay, of course get Ben off the court, and Klaxic can stay because I'm not just I'm just not gonna pass it to him. You still need him on the court. Um, in case of an offensive rebound, or whatever. So we got our best free throw shooters in the game on the court. We just give it in to Spencer Dinwiddie. Give it to our point guard. Um, and then with the second free throw going up. We need we need to put our defensive lineup back in. Actually, this is a defensive lineup works too, but you know what? We'll take him out and we put back in Ben Simmons um, for the defense. And then also, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, I, I'm okay with Royce O'Neal coming in for the last couple seconds just to play defense. Especially then when he free throws up, that missed. That missed, that missed, that missed. Okay, no timeouts from them. Second one is up and that one's in. No threes, no threes. Can I tell him no threes? Can I tell him no threes? It's no time. Just just guard up. Just guard up. Pick up everything. Four four seconds to go. That's a terrible looking shot. We get out of there, we win game three. Whoa, that was crazy. That was crazy. Oh man. Whew, that's 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 a nail biter. That's playoff basketball. We love that. We love that. Mostly because we won. Uh but we def definitely love that. Spencer Dinwiddie, Mikael Bridges, and Nicholas Claxon was the real MVP of the game. I mean, Joel B ended up with 23 and 17, but he took 26 shots to get there, and he didn't shoot any free throws. So that's the anti Joel B game. No free throws. All right, we're gonna we're gonna simcast game number four, and that's how we're gonna end today's episode. Uh, we're in Philly still. No, we're in Brooklyn, and whoa, they they destroyed us that first quarter. The boys got to play catch up, and they don't. It's a two-two series. Two-two series. Join the B with the revenge game. Yep. All right. All right. Let me hit the my save foul, ladies and gentlemen. That was a huge episode. We got through the first four games of the, the series. And I'll see y'all Friday to complete the series.